You are welcome to Reflect Your Hub YouTube channel. God bless you. Get set to watch this edifying video by God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. There are all kinds of ways the devil can distract us. Especially for we preachers. Because boy, ministry can make you so busy. And you will be searching the word, but you are just looking for a sermon. And you can array nice sermons and get all kinds of sermons. You are instant as far as ministry is concerned. But as a person, the richness of the word is not in you. And remember our spiritual fortification in this kingdom is the formidability of the word of god that you have meaning that if the word of god is not rich in and around you your life is at a risk when life pushes you it will have to take the word content in you to find expression are we together now when the word is not at work in you you are going to be frustrated and discouraged because my brothers when satan wants people to forget about god he manipulates their belly he manipulates the economy he heats up everything to make sure people forget about god are we together now but in the name of jesus it will be minus you Some of you, what God will do, you even be afraid to testify because of the kind of anger around the people who are not in the mood to hear anything God has done. And so you have to just leave and come and dance in the house of God because you will feel unfair because of the kind of testimony you have. Even you will feel sad for them. Not because you are being sarcastic. You are wondering, Lord, this is... And he says, you believed me and so you committed me. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able persuaded that he is able John chapter 15 and verse 16 I was preparing this and the Lord gave me a powerful revelation he said the word ordains you to be fruitful the word ordains you like you conduct an ordination service and you pour oil on a man and say from today brother abc you have become pastor this or whatever you are are we together now the bible says the word can coordinate a an ordination ceremony an ordination is a system of authorization and that the word like a minister can ordain you into a realm it says ye have not chosen me but i have chosen you the word speaking and ordained you to go and bring fruit a beautiful sister here stood as tiny as she was i was just smiling at her a dear one who stood here that wonderful lady and she stood with her cabin crew license that's an ordination are we together yes if you try to harass her around an airport even if she's not employed yet she's able to tell you no 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 i'm a licensed this and that that means i have received the authorization because these gates are still there remember our old gates and so there is a license and it says i have ordained you i didn't just send you i ordained you ordained by the word where is your pass into the realm of increase and you bring the word God said, I will make you exceedingly fruitful. And the gate opens. There you go. And for someone, he comes, where, where is your past? And he says, I'm tired. And the gate said, turn around. Weariness is not a key for open doors. It takes the word. Where is your past for a new level of the anointing? And then you say, I will make you exceedingly fruitful. That nations shall come out of you and kings out of your loins. The word ordains it is true the word ordains let me indoctrinate you with this revelation get it ordained to bear fruit Kabarako satire that means whatever you are involved in looks at you you come with a license ordained to bear fruit 
I'm a music minister ordained to bear fruit in the name of Jesus that means there is a life-giving factor in your songs that must force them to reach the nations an ordination happened through the word ordained to bear fruit not ordained to talk stories not ordained to explain ordained to produce results men of God hear this the word of God is able to ordain you that you go and bring fruit not just go and get fruit to go and bring forth like a woman pregnant and then she brings forth something out of her a child so i can send you alone as weak as you are and say look at the multitudes that god is sending you to i may not have naira and cobble to give you but i commend you to the word of his grace and you feel weak in yourself you say look i'm unqualified and the word of god says hold on let me ordain you and the same way you know those days when they had, when they ordained anglican priests many things would happen those days we used to wear cassocks you know you wear the whole regalia from top it must touch the ground clean shoes well polished and all of that and you are so happy and um, they used to call us seminarians even the masquerades didn't flog us are we to yes we had masquerades that sometimes would come up to harass people we used to move in groups the masquerades would run around and dare not come near us because even the masquerade knows a priest from a that means that ordination creates immunity that satan is running helter skelter he comes to a house and sees you clothed with the word it's an ordination and they tell the demon go now i say you you come and go the word of god building fortification so don't be surprised when a thousand falls by your side and ten thousand by your right side it looks so close you are worried god says have you not heard that it shall not come nigh thy dwelling only will you stand and see watch the reward of the wicked ordained to be fruitful john 15 and verse 16 ordained to be fruitful ordained to be fruitful if this is all you get tonight is worth it that you can walk around knowing that this fruitfulness thing i'm not getting it illegitimately or illegally i am ordained so as a man of god you go for a meeting you expect people to be healed you expect people to be delivered you expect that there be an outpouring of the holy spirit you expect revelations and signs and wonders and the moment you stand there and say praise the lord and the demons are flying out and liberating people is a token of your ordination is proof that you came with the word you didn't send yourself sent by the word ordained to be fruitful if i'm a destiny helper to you and then i come and i was supposed to pass you because of the investment of the word upon you it has been ordained to make sure the graces come to you and that word will compel me to want to come and help you and support you thank you Mike. are we together now ordained to be fruitful ordained to be fruitful king of kings lord of lords let your kingdom reign in my life adonai adon the lord adonai let your kingdom come it's our prayer let your kingdom come welcome back thank you so much for watching this video i believe that this video has brought life and has inspired you more please if you have been blessed by this video do well to like to comment and to share this video to as many as possible do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also click on the bell icon for daily notifications